Hey guys, I'm just gonna jump in here real quick. A lot of things went, I filmed this video already once today, uh, and a lot of things went wrong, including a wasp on my head. So, enjoy that. All right, here's the video. Hey guys, Farmer Jesse here. In continuation of our little farmsteading series, our series about how to make a good simple living off good simple living, uh, you know, we want to show you some of the things we do on our farm so that you can emulate them on your own farms to maybe, you know, make a living growing your own food and those sorts of things in the future. Anyway, today I want to talk about my fa five, fa 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 five favorite tools for the spring. Tools are extremely important to farming and these are the ones that we're using most right now. So let's talk about it. All right, so first tool up, this guy. This is a stirrup hoe that we got from Johnny's and I think it's six inches-ish, maybe five inches. Uh, it is extremely important. I don't know how I ever lived without it. This is the first year we've used it and we use it like crazy. I don't know how I didn't ever buy one of these in, to, to begin with. Uh, it's a basic cultivating tool that you use to um, either preemptively get weeds out of your garden or after they've already come up. It's really great for the past. It's a really sturdy tool. My only issue with it is the, I wish the uh, wood handle was a little bit longer so I could stand straight up like I'm using a collinear hoe. Um, but you'll see that it's sharp on both sides so you can sort of push and pull when you're going through your garden. Um, and it's a really, really great tool and it's not that expensive. I feel like I need five of them just so everybody that ever comes to our farm can go out with one of these and try it out. Next tool up that I was kind of surprised that we've been using it so much is our uh, spade shovel. This shovel uh, we get from Way Cool Tools. It's, uh, I think it's on here somewhere. Called Ace of Spades, I think. Um, but we got it from Way Cool Tools. Really great shovel, we use this um, it actually has an interesting quality that it sharpens itself the more rocks it hits and on our farm it hits a lot of rocks. So we've been using it, you know, to kind of dig around in our compost to check the temperatures. Um, we've been digging it, we've been using it for planting. We planted some grapevines, we planted a bunch of um, uh, blueberries and uh, yeah, we've done a lot with this with this this year already. Uh, it's a great tool and it's almost indestructible. I love this. I'd, you know, I'm gonna give it to Further when he's older. Or our other baby, we're expecting. Uh, next tool up is another surprise that we kind of uh, didn't expect. This guy, this is a trowel that I have no idea where it came from. If it's yours, let us know. We'll send it back to you. Um, but it's a really amazing tool. It's just a little tiny shovel. Uh, and we've been using it in a number of ways. One is that we've just been using it to plant in the landscape fabric. You can see all these tomatoes behind us. You know, that there's a hole in the landscape fabric, which is a reusable plastic essentially, so we can take it off when we're done and reuse it next year. Um, and there's a hole in the middle, and we have it for the tomato. So all we do is we can use this to dig out the hole, put the tomato plant in there, cover it back up, and move on. And it's a really, you know, we've used it in a lot of different areas. We used it to bury leeks the other day. For leeks, you really want to get them as deep in there as possible. Uh, it's not a super fast or efficient method, but we want like six inches of white blanched leek instead of those like two inches, one inches that you find at the store. Uh, we want a big white leek. So we dug down with this trowel, one person shoved the leak in and then I pulled the trowel out and we were able to get those really, really deep in the soil. So that's important to us. This has been a lifesaver. Uh, next up on the list is a one that barely fits in the actual frame is a 30 inch bed rake that we get from Johnny's as well. Uh, it is a really amazing tool. We do a number of things with this. Um, we, you know, rake our beds just to kind of flatten them out and break up some of those clods or just get it, you know, kind of, uh, kind of ready to plant. Um, we also use it as a row marker and I went, I'll show you these little tubes that you can, you can buy these. I think I just went and got this, whatever diameter tubing this is. Um, and what those do is you can put them like so on your rake and then you drag that through the soil and it does have to go backward like that. But you drag that through the soil um, and it marks your rows for you. So it's a pretty fast and efficient way to actually label 
your, or actually mark your rows. Um, really great tool. You can use it to hill up a little bit. You can also, yeah, uh, you know, use it for a lot of different things. We really love this tool. And we also love that tool because, uh, you know, those little plastic things that I pulled up actually came out of this. This is a, a hip sack. Okay, it's a fanny pack. But I've used this uh, a lot this year and I'm kind of trying to integrate it a little bit more. It's starting to rain. You'll have to forgive the rain real quick. I'm trying to integrate this a little bit more. It's kind of a lean idea. The idea is that, uh, I remember reading in The Lean Farmer by Ben Hartman that there was a guy who kept his, uh, at his aluminum factory, he made these trailers, these really amazing trailers, and he had the cart, all of his tools. All right, I'll just have to finish this in my shed where it's vaguely quieter, but, uh, so in a lot of lean systems, they like to keep their, all of their tools near them so they're not traveling back and forth to get their stuff. And I find that I have to travel back and forth to get really small stuff a lot. So um, one of those things are those little tubings that I saw that I showed you, uh, like this. I also keep my multi-tool in here. Uh, just keep it in here so it doesn't have to be in my pocket and take up a bunch of bulk or forget it in another pair of pants. Keep my cell phone in there. Keep earbuds in there for podcasts. I keep uh, row markers, little little wooden row markers and a pin in there. Uh, keep tape in here. Keep all sorts of stuff in here. And that way I'm not traveling back and forth. Little yard staples in there. Uh, those are great. Um, yeah, and it's it's... It's maybe, it's not designed for this, it's designed for running or hiking or something. Um, I feel like somebody could design a really good one for farming, but, uh, and hit me up if you want some tips on that. Um, yeah, but this is a really great thing to just have a have on your pack and it's not super heavy. So anyway, it's starting to rain, getting a little loud. Uh, I'm excited about the rain. We put in 2,000 transplants this, uh, yesterday, the day before. Um, so anyway, if you like this video, please like this video. We'll do more of them on farmsteading. Um, also, make sure to subscribe. Our little bobblehead will come up somewhere. Click on that thing. Subscribe. We'd be great. Anyway, uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Share it with your friends. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.